Hi, how's everybody doing today? Uh, I just got a, went to Walmart and I found a pack of, of some Mosaic uh, 2020 basketball. I don't, we were in there and the uh, shelves were pretty empty. There's some new things out and I guess it's all gone, but I actually found this in the bargain bin. So I was like, all right, it's not damaged or anything. I don't see it. It's not discounted either. It's regular price. So these have the pink camos in it. And we need some cars for our set. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can get out of here. And uh, everybody knows what the deal is. These are pretty much that are watching these videos on these basketball, uh, on the football uh, cards. They're similar to the basketball ones. This is the first year they did these cards. So they're very popular. I wear gloves because, you know, um, sometimes I send a lot of, well, not a lot of stuff, but I send, I send things out to get graded. So, uh that means that they're capsule and they're protected so they don't get a damage to some of these or photo cards our first one is lamar jackson it's pretty cool huh it's not a prism all these will get paint sleeved the regular ones very very probably get paint sleeved it's pretty cool also wilson not prism either Edelman. These are really nice. I like this. I like this cards a lot. Uh, we almost have the set put together. And we got a nice got game. Uh, he's a good running back. That is not a prism either, but it is gonna go for a set. I think we need that one also. And oh man, this is a tough one to get. Okay, this is card two oh two, I think. Yeah, the two oh two, the Chase Young. <clears throat> and to get these cards, to get the, all the cards for your set, sometimes you have to buy a pack, a hanger box, a blaster box, a mega box to get these cards. And we need this card for sure. And then Tua comes out, and then before that, it's Joe Burrow, and then it goes on to to Herbert and, um, I believe, Hurt. So yeah, this is not a prism. If it was, it'd be very expensive. It'd be right there. But it is a good hit. It's a shorter print one. I've opened many boxes, and this is the second one I've get I've gotten, and uh, it's a big hit. And then yesterday, Ashley pulled this awesome card out here, in in Terry Bradshaw, and I traded her some Josh Allen, blue reactive, a blue reactive, and a few other Josh Allen cards for this card. And this is really cool. This is the kind of stuff that comes out of there, out of these packs. And out of the boxes they're really cool we'll have the set done i'm getting a laptop this uh the next day or so and i'm gonna give out that pack of cards so well no uh if this dp catch a ball it would be amazing i watched him drop two passes tonight for sure for sure first downs uh he's not really good at catching but I tell you, if they would just line him up and let him run straight ahead, it, it'd be tough to take him down. He can get, he ran, he you know, had over 150 yards against the Steelers in one game uh, when he played for Jacksonville. He they killed us. Oh, this is a good one. Pretty sure we need that one. And, Lamar, I like this dude. I do, he's a good player. He really is. Underrated. I know he went, I know when he got to my aunt, uh, when he went to uh, Dallas, it was on right away. This is not a prison, but we do need old school that damn Reno's. Damn a Reno. I don't know if that's prison. Nope. Oh, not sure if we need him, but we might. We might. So either way, Ashley does. So this is our pink pack, and we'll get into this. Let's see what's up. Three cards. Cool. Nice. John Higgins. This dude was one of the. This guy could pull a tree down. Seriously. He made like a uh, uh, stop. When jo Joe Theismann went down, this is the reason why they won the Super Bowl that year. 
uh, Jay Schrader and, and, and also with uh, Doug Williams. He's an amazing player. Oh, man. Michael Pittman Jr. Pink one. Pink refractor camo. I have almost every variation of this guy. I just sold someone that was looking for a silver uh, prism for their set. They're putting their set, the prism set together. It was a silver prism, and I sold it to them. And it was 15 bucks, and I just gave them a one-touch with it. So, yeah. And if they get it graded, it's we're going to be real expensive. But I really, as, as a rule of thumb, I don't put a lot of... I don't invest, unless I like the player, I don't invest a lot in, in running backs. They're just, uh, they're, door, they're good for five years, pretty much. And then they're just going to get traded, and then they go on to other teams, like Adrian Peterson. Uh, it's a shame, you know. He's one of the best that's played, and he's just, you know, he's still killing it, but in particular situations. I mean, I'm sure Jerome Bettis could have played another year before he retired. He probably got out one more year in, but... He knew it was time to walk away, you know. But a lot of these people are, are record breakers, and they try to, I mean, because they've been playing for a while, and they want to get, they're real close to the record, and you can't blame them. So, I think these are pretty good products. There's a lot of cool stuff to come out of here. I mean, you get these Lamar discos. See the disco in them? And this is the prism. See it too. And then we have other ones like this. Cool. And not just because they're Steeler players. It doesn't matter who's on the card. It's just that uh, I'm a big Steeler fan. And I happen to get lucky and pull some of these cards. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And we'll be doing well, uh, some really good Christmas giveaways. And uh, also uh, doing the giveaway for 300 and 350 and 400 and a bunch of stuff that Ashley's got going on. So, like I said, I appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I'm not really, uh, if you want to subscribe to my channel and you like what I do, that's cool. I really enjoy it. Uh, but the, I've been on this channel for like three years. Uh, you know, I have my own channel for like three years. Before that, I've just been on here for like, you know, since they started YouTube. And I've seen all kinds of scandalous people and people that I, you know, um, you know, watch their channels and stuff and do all kinds of stuff and, and do, you know, good things and supposedly the hobby and spread the joy and love and all that. And a lot of these folks are just selling dreams to you. They want the thousand subs and then they make money off of you. And then they want your shit also. They want you to make videos to see what you got so they can try to weasel away to trade with you or get your stuff or uh, some major catastrophe happens and then they, the community comes together and helps people out and all, all this other stuff. But at the end of the day, you don't really know anybody here. So just have fun and, uh, you know, enjoy the hobby. But don't, don't buy into everything that all, everybody's trying to sell you. And that's why I don't have, you know, that's just why I have a little bit of subs because I'm um, keep it real and I'm not trying to uh, get anything from anybody. I don't want your collection. I don't need it. I'm just showing you how I collect. I'm telling you what goes on in a hobby. And we want to know why you can get one of these cards for $30 on the internet, get it graded at PSA 10, and it's 500 bucks. Well, that's why I'm trying to tell you that, that that's what's going on. You know, and with this, with, with these cards, because they're brand new, they're first editions, they've never made these before, and when you get these things graded, they're coming back tens, you're looking at big money, everybody knows that, that really collects, and they're in it for just the money, they're not in, in it for what I'm in it for, is just putting the set together, enjoying it, sharing it, whatever, extra cards, get some out, whatever, you know what I mean? Already that set is over $300 if you put it together. That's what Ashley was saying. I don't even look sets up because I don't sell my sets. You know, so, I mean, I sell some single cards, but I I don't, I've never sold one of my sets. I have night, a full, the full set of two th Tops 1971 Baseball, to, uh, Tops Football 71, 72, 73. I have major sets of things I just don't share it or nor do I ever, ever sell them. But I enjoy doing doing the sets and these are really sharp looking cards i think they're really cool looking 
and I, I think everybody can agree that these the football ones turned out way better than the basketball ones because there's major imperfections in the basketball ones. They were double stamped. The guy's arms were double stamped and everything like that. And I found a lot of cards like that. And then all the boxes that I've opened up, I've only found one card that was like that. And that's pretty amazing. So the quality on these, on, on the football ones, are a lot better than the quality on the basketball ones. From what I've seen, and you can even look at the videos that I've made on these cards and on the on the football ones and basketball ones and compare the compare what I'm saying. But both both of them actually do have uh, when they come out of packs, all of them have some kind of white thing on them, and it doesn't seem to affect the surface. See, so it doesn't really seem to affect the surface. And that's what happens. You see, like, that's a little dirt there. Or maybe it's a scratch. But I can clearly see that in my, with my eye. Okay, you, you see right there? I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, I gotta get closer. But there's a minor... That's how they come out of the packs. There's just a minor little imperfection right there. And it's a scratch or whatever. And then somebody will look at this under a microscope and look at it or whatever and they'll send it in and say this should be a 10 and it'll come back and it won't be it'll be an 8 or a 9 or something so that's one thing you gotta look for and I don't even know how they grade the cards if they are double stamped because I have a LeBron James like that and uh, it's double stamped in basketball so I don't know if they take points away from you on that or if it's considered to be uh, some kind of error card or whatever. I don't know. I know I have a basketball card from what was 1995 or 96. Uh, Clyde Drexler is uh, double stamped over um, McKee. So it was pretty cool. It says, it says it's supposed to be a McKee card and it has Clyde Drexler on the front and it's double stamped his, his name and everything. And it's just a mess, that card. But <laughs> yeah. Not too bad for, uh, you know, for 15 cards or whatever that you get in here. You get, you get 15 cards and you get three one. You know, we got four four prisms and one really good rookie. That guy's good. So, uh, and we need some of these for our set, I'm pretty sure. And then Ashley does. And I found some other cards from some of my other friends were looking for also. So, please like and subscribe. And if you like what I do, just, you know, that's cool. And if you... Don't, uh, you know, agree with what I say or do. That's cool also. Peace be with you. May the Lord keep, keep and bless you. I have no problem with any of that. So, um, until next time, you know, like I said, just uh, let us know what you think about this product. And uh, give us some feedback. And let us know if you've opened up packs and there are scratches on the cards or anything like that. So we'll know uh, to what, what to look for when we're buying these cards. Because some of my friends and, and most, like a lot of people are sending them in to get graded. So if you can share knowledge with people, that's awesome. Thank you.